you actually don't need the product key to install Windows 10. Hello, this is Rocket Robots, and in this video, I'm going to show the general installation of Windows 10, and you actually don't need a product key to install it. So first, we're going to get the installation file, so we can put it in a disk or a USB flash drive. Take note that the disk or the flash drive must have at least a capacity of 5 gigabytes so that you can put the files in it. First, we're going to go to the browser and going to search uh, Windows 10. Download Windows 10. And there you go, this one. Download Windows 10 disk image file. There we go. Here's the site of the official site of Microsoft. Screw Edge. <laughs> so download Windows 10. And you can update it later, of course. Now we're going to get this one, the, the tool. So click that, download tool now, save file. There you go. You can open it and go to your downloads folder or things like that. Or you can just click that. And you want to allow, of course, because we're going to do it. There you go. Getting a few things ready. Yeah, it, it may take a while depending on your internet speed because it has to download the things. And of course, you have to accept legal agreements or the terms. So, we Okay. Accept. Getting a few things ready. Okay. Right, we want to create an installation file. So, select this one. Create installation media. Either a flash drive or DVD or an ISO. If you want that. And use recommended op options for this PC. You can s pretty much select whatever you want, but generally it will give you recommended options. There you go. I mean, you can select the language, but yeah. yeah. If you want to use the flash drive, use this one. It needs to be at least four gigabytes. So, like, I, I recommend like five gigabytes, because it says on the site. <laughs> but at least four gigabytes. The ISO file is the one you're going to use if you want to put it on a disk. So this one is for you know a flash drive. This is for you know a disk. We're going to go to the ISO file later. So we're going to set the flash drive first. Here you go. See now I have a I plugged in a my own flash drive, this one, and there you go. We're, we're pretty much going to wait for this. Here we go. It's done. That's pretty much it, really. Now for the ISO one. Okay, this one. Yes. Okay. Now showed you the USB flash drive. Now, if you want to use a disk, you need to select an ISO file, and you can name it whatever you want. You can name it whatever you want. It's gonna save as ISO. Say there. I already downloaded it. The ISO file. This is here. Already downloaded it. So you can just you know insert a disk, a DVD, or whatever. A blank, a blank DVD that at least has five gigabytes. Then you know, just burn it. You see here, not the ISO file. You can just burn disk image. I don't have a disk, but there you go. Make sure you check this if you want to verify it's, you actually burn it. So there you go. You pretty much have the disk. It's pretty much done. Now, once you are in the installation, yeah, we, we have to warm it up first. There you go, you're in inst the installation of Windows 10. Just click next, and install now. You know, basic Windows installation. And you know, we just have to wait for it. Now, this is the important thing. You actually don't need the product key. There's actually an option here. See, I don't have a product key, which... Yeah, I, in this case, I don't have one. So we just have to select that. I don't have a product key, then select the edition that you want. 
you know, whether it's Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Home, just use Windows 10 Pro. And there you go. You can pretty much, yeah, th there you go. Now, if you're legally inclined, you can be that, but yeah, just check it off, then boom. And you can either upgrade or custom. Install Windows only. I mean, this is the one where you're going to select and select your black drive, and there you go. If you have not activated Windows 10, you can't really customize like stuff like as you can see here if you go to settings personalized you can't really do anything but other than that it's pretty much a full-fledged windows 10 other than you can't really use like you can't really personalize it but there you go thanks for watching this video subscribe if you want you know more tech videos and some other random crap and go to my amazon affiliate link if you are going to buy it to amazon that's going to help me and it doesn't cost you anything other than the things you buy on Amazon.